Radiator. In this lesson, the learner will be able to describe radiator and its uses. Describe the classification of radiators. Come on, Mr. Bright. Let us go a ride in my car. Let us enjoy a long ride since we went long before. Hey, look, smoke. Your vehicle is overheated. I think this is due to failure in radiator or even does not have enough antifreeze coolant in radiator. Yes, I have to check the coolant level. Oh, there is no coolant in the radiator. We have to pour coolant into the radiator. Now it's okay. Come on, let's move. Let us learn how a radiator works in an engine in detail. Radiators are widely used in automobiles. Radiators are also often used in transformers, air conditioners and food processing industry. Radiators are heat exchangers responsible for preventing the engine from overheating. When the engine is in use, it produces a lot of heat and the radiators uses coolants to keep the engine running at a healthy temperature. The coolant picks up heat from the engine and it flows from the upper tank to the lower tank of the radiator. Atmospheric air passes over the fins of the radiator, picks up the heat from the hot coolant. When the coolant reaches the lower tank of the radiator, the temperature of the coolant reduces considerably. This cold coolant is circulated back around the engine cylinder and cycle is repeated. Radiators are classified depending upon the direction of flow of the coolant and the core. Depending on the flow, it is classified as downflow type radiator and cross flow type radiator. According to the radiator matrix or core, it is classified as flim type core and tube and fin type matrices. In down type flow radiator, the coolant flow is from upper tank to lower tank. In cross flow type radiator type, the tanks are located on both sides and the coolant flows across the radiator horizontally from tank to tank. Here, we can observe flim type of matrix. This is also called ribbon circular matrix. In this, we can find a pair of thin metal ribbons soldered together along their edges to form a waterway running from header tank to collector tank. A zigzag copper ribbon forms air passage between the two waterways. Copper ribbon acts as air fins. Due to zigzag ribbons, the metal surface area is increased and thus the turbulence is also increased. The shape of the fins make a smooth airflow. The turbulence further increases the heat transfer. The essential component in a fin tube exchanger is the fin tubes. Seamless metal tubes are wrapped around the transverse fins that help to increase the surface area necessary for transfer of heat grasp against the wall of the tubes. In a fin tube exchanger, process liquid is pumped through the tubes from one end that moves through successive rows of tubes to the other end. During the process, depending upon the application, the liquid either picks up heat or loses the heat on the other side. These are widely used in the food industry for generating hot air required for drying. Earlier, they used honeycomb radiator. It had a large number of circular tubes and ended to a hexagonal shape. In this type of radiator, heat transfer efficiency was very poor due to absence of any secondary heat transfer surface. Hence, this type is no longer produced or used. The materials used for radiators should have good corrosion resistance. They also should have good thermal conductivity. 
the materials should have required strength and be easily formable. Mostly yellow brass and copper materials are used in radiators because they meet all required properties. These materials can also be soldered easily so that it is easy to repair. Very rarely aluminium material is used in radiators, but this material is very light and is very critical. Sometimes radiator head is made up of copper, whereas the supporting sides will be made of steel. Observe the thermal conductivity of materials like cast iron, steel, and aluminium. Summary Radiators are constructed to perform function in automobiles and electronics. Radiator is a type of heat exchanger. It protects the internal combustion engine from overheating by circulating water or coolant through cooling fins. Radiators are classified depending upon the direction of flow of coolant and the core. Depend upon the flow. It is classified as downflow type radiator and crossflow type radiator.